Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just an update on this uh, flux gate generator. As you can see, I have a very large car battery because this setup now is consuming way too much amps, around uh, 4 to 10 amps. I have here a 1 watt 230 volt EC uh, LED lamp. Uh, I cannot run it for long because uh, there you can see the rotor, sorry the motor. The motor is not uh, made to use such a high amps and also my wires are not uh, made for 10 amps. I'm gonna put the camera down, start it up and show you what is consuming, how it's running very slow and the output also gonna short it when I short it or put the output on it it uh, does drag down the system in my configuration as it is now I've made this kind of setup some years before and if you configure it like you have to uh, or in um, different ways you can get speed on the load with this or even um, put a load on it without noticing anything on the drive side but in this case it does put some drag on the system on the motor when I load it down and oh yeah, I have here uh, a PWM uh, rated um, 15 amps it's working uh, perfect I do like the way it is hooked up and the way it's configured except for the stuff here under under here so what I intend to do is uh, gonna configure it down here a lot anyway but that's another story let me get it started up I need two hands for this more like three hands oh yeah by the way it is completely bolted down otherwise impossible to do here he goes nope not yet okay it is running now see it running it's consuming 6 amps mm, not good as you can see the speed is uh, nothing spectacular let me hook up the output it is using now yeah around 6 amps way too much for my taste connecting the load wow not really and it's yeah kind of the same as 6 amps let me tune it over here with this potentiometer going for 10 amps As you can see, the uh, output is still very crappy, still flickering, running, no, turtle speed. I can smell some wire somewhere. Let me do a... Uh... Now I'm going to short the output. Yeah, I think you guys can hear that. Shorting the output. Yes, yeah, definitely putting a drag on the system. Gonna tune it back down because uh, these wires are getting pretty warm now. The PWM, yeah, slightly warm, not bad. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop the camera, remove some stuff, and uh, let you see another part of it. Uh, let me see, where's the pause button? Okay, what I've done now, I've removed the big battery, put my small one, put a panel meter, you can see the voltage in the battery. It's not uh, really uh, charged uh, good at this moment, but it will do. I'm using the uh, 3M scale 
and I remove all the blades all the iron blades uh, below the rotor because I just want to let you see that uh, working with this PWN with that DC motor drive this rotor pretty well so um, gonna start it up Excuse is running nothing special The battery is really, uh, yeah, almost dead. As you can see, it's spinning now far better. Of course, there's nothing under there now. But just to give you an idea how it's all working. Yeah, I am really abusing that battery now. Rolling on 10 volts and 1 amp, still too much for my taste for such a simple setup. But anyway, you get the idea. Once again, nothing special, just let you see that uh, if you have a PWM with a DC motor, yeah, you can uh, make a little nice setup. What I'm thinking to do now is uh, change down here and see how it goes. We'll keep you posted. Hope you enjoyed it and as always thanks for watching.